Hey guys, I've had a few questions on how to make uh, transition effects in Logic, so I thought I'd just show you how I go about doing that. The most basic and probably the most common transition effect is just a white noise sweep, where you generate some white noise and then sweep a filter through it um, to give that sort of rise effect. And that's easily done in Logic. All you have to do is open up Oscillator 3, select the noise uh, option, and then use the filter obviously to sweep through the frequency range, maybe with a bit of resonance. I was using a low pass filter there, but you can also use a band pass filter, that works pretty well too. And what I usually like to do is I like to put that modulation through my mod wheel so that I can control it with my keyboard, or I can program it in, in the uh, piano roll. So target is cut off one, and the source is the mod wheel. And now, oops, put in a bit of the intensity control. Okay, that's okay, but it's a little bit boring. So you can do other things too. You can, um, for example, you could modulate the cutoff. So again, but this time with an LFO, and maybe put that through the mod wheel as well, and make that LFO a square wave. We could also um, modulate the um, speed of that LFO with the mod wheel too. So it gets quicker as the mod wheel goes up, and that gives adds even more sort of feeling of tension. And of course, you can add in all sorts of other things too. You could add in a couple of uh, oscillators which move their pitch up. Um, You can modulate pretty much anything in that way and it will just give that feeling of tension. So you could modulate oscillator one wave which will actually change morph the digi wave as you move the mod wheel. Maybe add some, add it, put it in unison mode so that the sound's a bit thicker and a bit of phaser. So you get the idea, you can do all sorts of things. You can then also take it one step further and duplicate up the S2. Uh, I've done it three times here, one's in the center, one's at the left, one's at the right and each of them has got the settings changed slightly, the cutoff changed a little bit and the uh, wave options changed a bit and that way you should get an effect like this uh, and then obviously if you could bounce that down to a single audio file to chuck it in as an effect on any of your tracks um, I hope that's been useful, it's just some basic looks at how to do sort of rising transition effects in Logic, but uh, I hope it's been helpful for some of you guys. I'll uh, hopefully see you again soon. Bye guys.